I hope this is not a trend, but in California, where they're, it's just such a basket case, they're just throwing anything out there, life rafts, anything that floats. The latest, two different propositions and a number of other referenda that essentially call for hiking taxes on anything and everything. One targeted on the wealthy, I think 225, 250,000 over, and then a separate proposition to, well, geez, while we're at it, just tax everybody else. I'm being a little simplistic here, but to make a point that in California, they've run out of things to cut, so now they're cutting to the, uh, well, let's just raise their taxes. Uh, we, we've got a, a, a very well-known developer. He's a key Obama fundraiser joining us. I've always told Don Peebles that he should join the Obama team, uh, the economic team, because he makes so much sense, and obviously he's had great success in the business world, so obviously he can't get within a thousand miles of the White House. Um, just joking, but good to have you back. Good to be back. The race turned out just like you said. It did. The president uh, got reelected. He got reelected solidly. And, and despite your concern about ta attacking the rich, uh, which you judged him by the preponderance of everything else, and that notwithstanding. He was worth it to be reelected. Absolutely. I already said, I always said that the president was running for chief executive officer of the nation, commander in chief, not chief financial officer. Okay, and now, let, before we get to California and what's going on there, because they're just taxing everything, they're going to tax poodles next. But do, do you think that this administration is open to a deal on taxes, or come hell or high water, he is going to argue, look, I've been reelected. I've said one of my principal points is that taxes should go back up on the rich, and he's going to stick to that. No, I think that the president, one, he's one of the smartest people I've ever met. He's focused and he's committed really? to moving the country You've forward. You've met a lot of them. I have, very and the president's people. a very smart man. And look at him, he's reelected again to a second well, term. You, That's that not by accident. Point. That is a good point. Okay. And, uh, but then I thought, look, um, you know, I think he's done a very a good job in many areas. Well, on this tax thing. And on the, uh, but I, ta I think on taxes, there's going to be some compromise. Like I think, what? Well, I think that... How much it's of an be a increase? Million, right? It's not well, going to be 250. I think it'll be higher. I also think they'll focus maybe on something like carried interest, and I think adjust that, um, which would be a big win for the Democrats and the Republicans. I think uh, agree that that's a very difficult position to defend. So I think a couple things. So like a lot that. of the things that look extravagant, cut back on maybe raising a couple of them, maybe close some loopholes, the kind of stuff that Boehner was intimating. And you might have a deal. You yes. might avoid the clip. Yes. And then I think we're going to have comprehensive. Why can't California do that? Well, California, I happen to have owned property in California, and I currently own property in Las Vegas. And when I saw this referendum, everywhere. I'm so happy How for my properties in Vegas. How many About six cities. Do you really? Yes. What's but the biggest loser? The biggest loser has been Las Vegas. Really? But now it's going to be it's amongst the back. biggest gainers because now they're taxing people out of the state of California. Every time there's a big earthquake, oh, sure. every time go. there's a big tax, they go to Las Vegas because they can be in Las Vegas. Um, they'll pay no state income tax. The housing costs will be 80 percent less, and, and they can be in San Francisco. The but summer. they can be in San Francisco or Los Angeles in sure. an hour. Right. So I think you'll see people leaving the state of California, unfortunately. All right. Well, it's interesting because those were ground zero locales for real estate. I'm talking about Las Vegas. You and I earlier on talking about Florida. You've noticed that market picking up a bit. So maybe the wind at the president's back could be this recovery you kept championing during the campaign. And, and you think that's real? Oh, I do. I look at, look at so South Florida. You don't think it's a, a, a blip? No. South Florida, and history kind of repeats itself. South Florida in the early 90s went down the tube first in their housing right. market and then bounced back with an international market driven primarily by Latin America. Again now, uh, South Florida went down the tubes and has bounced back to the point that the inventory is of the new uh, units that were built. Um, at the peak of the recession, there were about 35,000 unsold units. Now there are about 1,000 unsold development units and 82 new development projects in the Miami-Dade area planned or under construction. No, I see it for myself. I think you're right about that. Of course, it's had such a low level to come off of that's not a surprise. Let me ask you, Don, just a personal kind of a question. Um, it might surprise you that sometimes uh, the president won't come on Fox. I don't, I don't know why. Um, you do. I, I think you, you're a pretty shrewd, pragmatic businessman. Uh, you've differed with the president in a couple of key areas. Why aren't there more guys like you in the administration? And, and is that by design he keeps really smart business guys away and would rather have just a bunch of academics around him? No, I think that the president wants to have the best and brightest around. But well, I think he why, was very, why, well, why he was very there. Well, he was very you sensitive. You can't be bothered. Well, he was also, the president was very sensitive to Wall Street 
and those of us in the private sector who were perceived to have it. caused Wall Street hates well, they, they, we were perceived to have caused a part of this recession, and so it would have been uh, you know counter counter has he to asked his you message. to be more than just an outside counselor and friend and all that. I mean, no, but I, you know I'm happy with the role that I see, can the limited role you I can can't play. Can't soil yourself. It's a, no, it's and a, also I'm not the kind, frankly I'm not the kind of person that could work for anybody else other than the people. I'll so tell if you I ever, why. If I'll I tell you why. You're too decent. You're too decent. Well, for thank you. No, you are. And here's my fear about the administration. They don't have your open business mind. They talk a good game. You actually mean what you say and say what you mean. Here's my rep against this president, and I hope I'm wrong. He surrounds himself with people who say, yes, we're interested in business, but the language, the tone, the vernacular, the approach is as anti-business as you could get. What do you think of that? Well, I don't think, I think that what you've had with the president, the president, this president likes debate internally, um, and they debate internally. What had happened, though, is that... You don't think he, he dislikes rich people? No, I don't think the I president... I think he hates them. Outside of George no, Clooney and Barbara Streisand, I No, I think that Maybe he... Bruce I think he, the president respects entrepreneurship, no, he but doesn't. he also respects other things. Look at me. Say that again. The president of the United States respects entrepreneurship and no those way. of us who are successful because I believe the president respects okay. me and, well, uh, he and I'm an entrepreneur. He should because and, you get uh, it and, and I think a guy like you could talk sense to him. But he Look. gets it. The president, the president right, came right. and ran for office with the idea of bringing the country together. Now he has his chance. Now the president can take the leadership and should take the leadership to bring this Not nation together. Not without guys together. like you. If he surrounds himself with the academics he surrounds himself with who have more of an attitude than a background. It's not going to happen. Well, I don't think this level of progress where we are now in the economy is acceptable to the president. So the president will make decisions. He's willing to make out-of-the-box decisions. Right. You look at how he ran so his you campaign. you picture bigger things. I picture much bigger things. All right. Well, I want to see you in there to do it. But I, can't, I can understand why you wouldn't want to do it. Don Peebles, Obama fundraiser, very pragmatic. They don't, I tell you, he's a rare bird because both sides respect him and like him because he's a straight shooter which means he should stay the hell out of Washington. You think about it. I own a home there. There you go. Well, there you go. Yeah. It sounds like you're like I was born every, there, though. Sounds like you're okay. in every time zone. You got everything covered. When we come